What does that say? It doesn't matter. What does that say? What is the ticket for, sir? That car is registered to this spot. Yeah. And it hasn't moved in how long? Doesn't matter. Okay. She pays going. rent here, pal. Well, that doesn't bother me whatsoever. You know what? You're ugly and disgusting for what you're doing. You are going to lose your job, and I'm going to make sure you lose your job. You ticketed it twice? the hell is wrong with you? Actually, it's another officer that ticketed Yeah, exactly. Oh my so you keep on ticketing this car. I'll put this woman into impoverishment. You are disgusting. Get out of here, man. I'm going to make sure that your boss knows everything that you're doing, and I'm going to make sure that you get exposed completely for what you're doing, because you're just standing over there. Oh and my out. God. <laughs> You were standing over there doing nothing for the last hour. And you should be getting a ticket right here. You parked in a fire lane. You parked in a fire lane. You're blocking e EMS or any other emergency vehicle, you idiot. Get out of here. Let's look a little closer. I'm seeing what I'm seeing. You're seeing that. What's the problem? ticket on the car you decide is it a legal ticket should it have been given just for an expired tag the person is handicapped her door is 28 steps away from the actual car couldn't the parking person see their way to the door maybe do they have to give her two tickets in one day it's a glorious day today in windsor ontario canada a uh, Fahrenheit temperature of 37 degrees and looking forward to tomorrow at 39 degrees. Yep, almost busting 40 degrees in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. It's a bleak place mostly in the winter, but it has warmed up and we're very glad for that. Uh, today's topic, let's chat about that, parking lot wars. American woman parked her car at Pearson Toronto Airport last February and got a ticket for $3,000. Can we let up on the parking? Let's chat about that. I do a YouTube channel, so... And there goes the car. It's gone. Yep, and there goes the car. It's gonna be gone here in just a few seconds. We're so glad that it's gone. So are all the neighbors, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, t -Cast. Yep. Fantastic, good deal, man. Thank you.
Thank you very much. I just won't go back up for some reason. Thanks very much. It's taking away a problem. <laughs> Thanks again. No problem, man. Okay. Rolling. Hey, Boonies. Boon Cannabis is open again on Tuesday for foot traffic. Make sure we see you then. Thanks a lot, guys. Impoverishment. Until you get the right permit, we will keep you. are just. Yes, it's Puppet Walk Wars. That's right, T Cast television show. Uh, today, uh, intermediately, uh, we're going into the subject of parking and um, how much is too much. I mean, an American woman parked her car at Pearson Airport last year, left, went to Florida, I guess, um, and couldn't get back to the country. I don't know if she was a dual citizen or if she actually lives in Florida. But either way, I mean, we've been locked down. How is she supposed to get back to get her car? Um, I bring this up because I have a friend's car um, in the lot here. And uh, it's been ticketed, and the person is disabled, and the car was not ticketed once, but it was ticketed twice uh, in the same day on the account that one of the neighbors who wanted to buy the car um, from another neighbor of mine um, started calling the parking police uh, about the car, so it was ticketed twice. Um, we won't name any names, but... You know who you are, so um, <laughs> thanks a lot for costing my friend money. But we're going to get that sorted out. We've got a guy coming by to pick up the car and give us some cash for the car. It's being cleaned out right now. And hopefully today we're going to do some bowling. We have to reserve the lane. So depending on the time uh, that we uh, take to get the car towed, and we'll give you a little shot of that um, and the tickets um, and ask why the car was ticketed because... It had the plates on it. The only thing was that it was expired, uh, the plates. Uh, the information that my friend uh, was given by another friend of hers who said that he had phoned the Ministry of Transportation um, said not until next January would someone have to be worried about that. So let us know what you think about that. The car uh, is in the designated parking spot. Um, the only exception is that the plates were expired. Someone tried to steal the license plates last year, so the back plate was taken off and put into the uh, owner's apartment for safekeeping, but yet the car was still ticketed, and her door is just 25 steps away from her car, which was ticketed not once but twice by the commissioners of Windsor. Let us know what you think about that and also about the woman who was ticketed at Pearson Airport. Um, things are, you know, moving slowly, so I would hope that there would be some consideration and the information provided by the ministry was that no one had to worry about uh, the cars or parking, at least through the lockdown, and that if your car, in my friend's case, that's parked outside, um, shouldn't have been ticketed at, at all because the only problem was that the plate was expired. So let us know what you think about that. We're going to give you a camera shot of angle of that car and the, um, the plate um, that was uh, in the window, and I don't know why it was still ticketed, but we're going to see how much those tickets were, and you can give us your uh, input on that, whether you think this car should have been ticketed or not, and in fact, should it have been ticketed twice in the same day. Thanks. Let us know what you think about um, that. Uh, let's chat about that, as well as let us know what you think about our intros, our outros, and our cameo. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. If you're getting value from this uh, content, again, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe right here at TCAST, the channel that wants to reel you in. <laughs> so come back to TCAST each and every time for valuable information. We're looking forward to 39 degrees Fahrenheit tomorrow in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. It's been my pleasure to give you this information today. Thanks and have a great day. We'll see you outside at the car for the it's ticket. Been a while since it started. <laughs> Hey, 
mean, it might even be able to be set again, right? Okay. Welcome back to TCAS. Well, it looks like we can't go anywhere without a reservation. The standing order in Ontario is just 10 patrons per establishment, no matter if it's a large bar, billiards hall, uh, bowling alley, etc. Um, just 10 patrons per 90 minute session is allowed at the moment in southern Ontario. So until tomorrow, it's going to be 39 degrees here, and we're looking forward to tomorrow and a reservation hopefully at the bowling alley um, if not we're going to find something else to do so make sure you like share and subscribe right here at tcast remember be keen be kind kill it with knowledge let's chat about that